Hello everyone and welcome back to Part Development in Kerbal Space Program where I think I completely forgot to release my CSD100 Starliner. I had tested it during the live stream of the previous test of Starliner in real life. And that is what you're going to be hearing in the background. We were watching it during the live stream while I was testing it in May. And I had made videos about how to make it in Blender and how to configure it and how to bring it through Unity and all that business. But I don't think I ever actually linked the actual CST100 in the video description. I had completely forgotten about it for some reason. And so here I am with a very short video telling you that it is in the video description and I'm going to talk about a few pe peculiarities about it. First of all, the skirt underneath the CST100 is just a procedural part. That's just procedural fairing. The boosters I think are from KW Rocketry. The rocket is from my real rockets pack, so I will link that in the video description as well so that you can have the Atlas V. And we have the RL10s there, that's from the same pack, though of course any Atlas V will do. And that's the procedural fairing. I don't know if that's exactly how they go, but you know, it'll work. Uh, they are supposed to decouple those panels at this point, apparently, to save mass for getting to orbit. You can see the live stream of the actual test of it in the bottom right-hand corner. This may or may not be of interest to people, but I assume that with the crude launch of it coming up at some point soon, hopefully, uh, that maybe people will want to have a model of it. I'm sure people have made a model of it before, uh, but here's mine. Uh, now, the abort engines did not have a plume on it. I test them right here in order to boost our orbit because the RCS was not going to do it, uh, get us to orbit properly here because of the lopsided orbit that I ended up in. So I tested it. There was no plume during this test, but I think I fixed that. So that is fixed. I think that was the only flaw in it uh, during this test. We have the solar panels at the bottom. They should work. And we've got all the RCS that I was testing. We have plenty of Delta V in order to get to the International Space Station. Uh, a note that the cap on top of it has the node meant for having a docking port underneath, specifically the NASA docking port, which is the stock docking port or stock looking docking port. So uh, it is expecting you to have some sort of docking port there. Otherwise, it's sort of smushed in a little bit and you'd have to tweak it out to make sure that the nose cap fits properly. Uh, so that's just a note. Uh, I didn't put any texture on the top of the service module. That is another thing. I skimped on that. Otherwise, it's a pretty hefty mod. The textures are pretty uh, high quality and there is an interior with it. So the interior that you see the Kerbal sitting in, that is an interior. And here we are going through entry. At this point, the webcast of the actual test was complete. And we can see it going through re-entry. Not a whole lot of ablation. Uh, I might tone that down, but it might be all right anyway. It's a nifty little pod. And here it is coming through the last bit of it. I did not put descent mode on it yet. So the G-forces are a little bit high. I'll have to remember to put descent mode or somebody else. If, if you know how to put descent mode, that's fine. And the arrow cap sometimes gets caught on the docking port collider. And that's what you saw there. It, Pretty much always flies off though and those are real shoots those are not built in so you'll have to put your own parachutes on and that's about all i have to say about it so links will be in the video description and the test was more or less successful and i hope that everything will go well uh in the crude launch coming up so with that thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time